Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to move your photos and videos from any Samsung Galaxy phone. I don't care if you have the Samsung Galaxy Notes, the Samsung Galaxy S2, S3, S4, S10, even the uh, A series, J series. It all works exactly the same way to transfer uh, files, basically videos and photos from your computer or from your uh, phone to your computer, okay? Now I have a video that I wanna transfer onto my computer here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, by the way. So the first thing that you have to do is go ahead and get your charging cable, and you need to plug one part into the USB port into your computer, and the other part into your phone, obviously. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a Windows PC or a Apple computer or a MacBook, okay? It's the same exact procedure. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply pop this in right now. Let me just go ahead and plug this in. I heard something on my computer here, and it says down here, uh, Galaxy Note 8. Actually, it's a Galaxy S8 Plus. That is really weird. Anyways, a message may not pop up for you. It really doesn't matter, okay? Now, the thing is, my phone is locked. There's a password on it, so you do have to unlock it. So let me go ahead and unlock my phone first. Now, the thing is, if you don't do this, then you may get a message as saying, does this phone trust that computer? And you got to click on yes, okay? Anyways, so I'm logged in right now. Let me just go into my file explorer here. And then I'll look for the name of my phone is Samsung Galaxy S8. See, that's weird. It says Samsung, it says a Galaxy S8 Plus, but it said like the Note 8 down here. Anyways, it's a S8 Plus here. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And then I'll double tap on phone. And with all the Samsung Galaxy phones, all of your uh, photos and videos is all in a folder called DCIM, okay? And many other Android phones as well. So double click on DCIM. And now from here, I mean, I have camera here, which is, includes all my photos and videos, and then I have all my screenshots here. I'll go ahead and click on camera here. And these are all my photos and videos here, okay? So you can go ahead, from here, you can go ahead and highlight. You know, you can click the photos and videos that you want. Um, or you can, you know, simply just go like this and then you can right click and you can go ahead and click a uh, copy or you can do a cut. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this last video here I just made for my a YouTube video. I'm going to go ahead and right click this and I'm going to click on copy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto my computer. So I'm going to click on desktop here, click on YouTube and I had to edit this video. So I'm going to go ahead and right click this video here or right click right here somewhere. And I'm going to create a new folder here. So I'm going to go down to new and I'm going to go to folder and I'm just going to name this folder uh, new N E W. And then I'm going to go ahead and click down here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. Now I'm going to right click and paste that video that I copied. Okay. So give this a second for, to um, go ahead and copy. And then it's going to be on my computer. Now I did a copy. So when you do a copy, Basically, it's still going to leave that same exact video on my phone, but I also have another copy that's going to be on my computer. Anyways, there you go. It is currently on my computer. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, just comment below. Let me know. I'll help you guys out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one.